I'm going to show you everything you need to know to sow, grow, harvest, and sell grapes in Farming Simulator 25. If this video is helpful for you, please click that subscribe button below. It really helps support the channel. I'm going to be assuming, because grapes are not the simplest of um, crops, that you may already know how to attach vehicles to machinery and simple things like that. But if you don't, the main way we're going to be actually um, using most of the machinery or all of the machinery shown in this video is by having a tractor, reversing it up to our machinery, attaching it, going to the field where we have our grapes, and then turning them on and just driving over the field with them um, when they are on, etc. And that's basically how we're going to be doing this for all the machines that I talk about in this video. I'll also show you how to fill things up, etc. So the first things first is actually going to be how do we get our grape vines on the field? Well, if I go to the build menu, which for me is shift and P, if you're on PC, it should also be shift and P as default. What we need to go to is the second icon on the left here and go under, um, so you might start on factories, go right, selling points, greenhouses, and then cultivation. And you've got here a grape vine. So click grape vine, and I'm gonna zoom in on my field where I wanna put my grape vines. And then I click once, and then you can actually see the grapevine um, there, and I can click again, and there you go. You've now got a grapevine. Now, what you can, it's a bit hard to see on here, but hopefully you can see that. Can you see that um, when I have, if I go to place more grapevines, can you see it automatically shows me where to place the next one? Uh, it like clicks into place here, and then it will automatically um, snap to basically make another another row, as you can see here. And you could keep doing that to make as many rows of grapevines as you like. Cool. So now that we've got our grapevines down, what do we need to do next? So the first thing we need to do is actually prepare the soil in between our vines. And we will do that using soil cultivation and then mulches. So if we click on mulches, we've got a lot of options here. It's completely up to you really which ones you use. You attach a mulcher to the back of your tractor. You press V for Victor, if you're on PC, to lower it to the ground, and then you turn it on and just mulch the um, the rows. So what do mulchers actually do? It basically is crushing the crop stubbles uh, underneath our, um, our grape vines. So the old crop kind of rubbish underneath the vines that you've got left there from previously, we need to get rid of all that and prepare the soil for cultivating it to the vines. So the number one step after placing the vines is mulching. After that, we're going to use a subsoiler. So this is also going to help with um, preparing the ground. Uh, you can see here it says a subsoiler prepares fields for the next sowing. It can be used instead of a plough, and it suits perfectly for grape and olive farming. And I think that says it on all of them, so here they are. So once you've mulched the ground and got rid of the crop stubbles, we then need to cultivate it, and we'll be using the subsoilers that I show you here, again under soil cultivation. Same again, attach it to the back of your tractor, lower it to the ground using the key bind you'll see in the top left, and then bring it over the soil. If we actually walk up to the grapevines, you can see that it already says on there that they are growing. And we can see that they're not fertilized and um, we can see the yield bonus. So once you place the vines, you don't need to then actually like buy seeds or anything and plant the grapes. They are already there. But what we do need to do and can do is actually improve the quality of the soil for a better harvest and yield of our grapes. So how would we do that? Well, same again, what we're going to do is go to fertilizer spreaders. And in fact, I'm sorry, I actually made a mistake there. Not fertilizer spreaders, fertilizer sprayers in yield improvements. We want to use a liquid um, for our grapes and actually spray the grapes with fertilizer. Because if you think about it, like we're not really putting it on the soil, we're putting it on the grape, or are we? Oh, I don't know. I'm not a farmer, I don't know. Maybe I should just shut my mouth um, <laughs> before I say something silly. Um, yes, yeah, so we're gonna use a sprayer for fertilizer here. If you don't know how to get the spray into your um, sprayer, <clears throat> what we can do is, um, <clears throat> sorry, I can find the right vehicle you basically buy the sprayer like you can see you've got these bags here and then you'll hook it up to your um, fertilizer one 
this is a solid version, but like this one here, and just drive it to near where you've got your liquid fertilizers. And you'll have, I believe it's R is the default key bind. Um, when this machine, when you have your sprayer near the liquid fertilizer, it will let you fill it up. You can either spray them um, twice if your sprayer allows it at once to double spray them, or you can spray them at different growth periods and you can actually fertilize these vines, as I said, twice. Once they have fully grown, and to see if they're fully grown, what we could do here is go grapes. We could turn on grapes here on crop types and see where they are. And you can see here under the growth tab on the map that it's growing. The different, um, uh, the different like, variety of green shows how close it is to being ready to harvest and then ready to harvest is when it will be orange here so we can see that it is growing here um and there's our grapevines so once they're ready to harvest they've gone orange on here we then need to use a specialist harvesting tool for the grapes and that is all the way down in our menu here in our shop in grapes and olives literally called grape harvesters. If you've already used a combine harvester, which is probably the first thing you would be using in the game, and you output the pipe to the to the left or the right and put it into the trailer, on the grape harvesters, you actually um, reverse them up to your trailer and you dump all of your grapes out of the back end of the grape harvester into your trailer rather than the side. Um, we have some lovely grape harvesters here. Um, you can see that this one here, the Gregoire, this can actually do grapes and olives. So if you're looking at doing both, um, you cheeky Mediterranean devil you, uh, then you can buy this more expensive Gregoire one. Um, otherwise, I think these ones will be fine. This one's like 10 grand. In fact, they're all quite similar in price, to be honest. I would just get the best one. Um, and you can see it's got the grape icon on there. And then you also just attach this and um, drive it down. Um, and harvest those grapes really you also have actually got grape trailers um tippers and trailers are used to tra transport different crop types these are specifically for grapes which i think is fabulous for us grape lovers out there um so you can actually use these trailers of your tractor um to store specifically grapes now well done you have actually now sown grown and harvested your grapes you can then take it to a tipping point to sell it However, you now need to do something else to actually prepare your grapes for the next harvest. And if this is overwhelming, I'm going to recap shortly on everything we need, by the way. So the last thing we actually now need is going to be... Oh my god, will I be able to find it? Oh, it's actually here in Grapes and Olives. Grape tools. You can see um, you've actually got the sprayer as well here. Um, and the mulcher. And the subsoiler, it's all in grape tools. That's really nice, actually. So it shows you which ones would be really good for it. Can you see this Provitus one here with this, um, looks like something out of saw. Uh, a pre-pruner is used after the harvest to prepare the vines for next year. So once you've harvested your crop of grapes, what we actually want to do is then actually come over with this machine and then actually pre-prune them ready for the next harvest. So that's actually an extra step you do at the end, which is specific to grapes. So let's just recap on everything so we don't forget anything. Number one, go into your build menu and place your grape vines. Cool. Then we're going to go up to soil cultivation. And we are going to mulch the ground to get rid of any um, all this nasty crop crop rubbish on the floor. Um, and then we're going to subsoil it. Instead of ploughing it, we're going to subsoil the ground and cultivate it. After that, um, oh, we can also lime our fields as well. What you would you would lime with a fertilizer spreader, specifically the Breedal one for the soil. And then we'd come and we would use a sprayer to do our fertilizer for the grapes. Once they have been fertilized, etc., they will obviously grow. Lovely grapes will be grown. And then we can come down to grapes and olives and go to grape harvesters, harvest the grapes out of the back end of the grape harvester. They go into your trailer. And then lastly, you need to pre prune the crop for the next year of grapes to grow. And there you go, everyone. That is everything you need to know about growing grapes in Farming Simulator 25. I really hope this was helpful. If it was, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel as I cover a ton of tutorials in Farming Simulator 25 and all of the latest games.